In this video, I'm going to show how to upgrade or replace the hard drive in a WD MyCloud personal drive. Now you can purchase the MyCloud device in a number of different sizes, from 2 terabytes to 3 to 4 to 6 to 8 terabytes. But if you have a 2 terabyte and you want to upgrade it to 8 terabytes, or if you have your hard drive has died and you need to replace it and you're out of warranty, these procedures will show you how to replace that hard drive. Now I'll put links to all of the different resources that I'm going to use in this video down in the description so that if you need to access files or you want to actually read the tutorial that I'm showing then you can actually go to the website and, and get a hard copy of that. Now there's a couple of things that you'll need to download before you get started. The MyCloud images that I used came from this particular thread on the WD Community website. Now it doesn't really matter which of these two images you download because you'll be able to resize it later once everything is installed. Now this is the guide that I used and that I'll be describing in this video. The MyCloud image in this particular tutorial is no longer valid. That's why I used the image from the other thread. What you will want to download from this thread though is you'll want to download the System Rescue CD, ISO. That's the utility that I used while making this video. When I got to step number 16 of the tutorial on the WD Community website, there were a couple of things that I had to do differently in order to make it work. And I'll point that out to you when I get to that point in the video. Now, Before you do this, please be aware that doing this will erase any data on your hard drive. So if you have any critical data, anything important to you at all that you want to save, save it before you do this. Performing this process will completely destroy that data. And once you have everything downloaded, go ahead and boot your computer up using the system rescue disk that you downloaded. And you'll get to this screen, which you'll go down to option number 7 and hit enter. Now the video might be a little hard to read, so I will include a link to the tutorial in the description where you can get all of the commands there. But I'll also include the commands in the description as well. Here on step 16, I had to do a couple of things that were a little bit different from what the tutorial says to do. Start off doing exactly what the tutorial says. 
when it gets to the point where it asks you for the starting numbers, you enter in your starting numbers of 9428992S. And hit enter. Now it's asking you for the ending number. In the tutorial, it doesn't give you the ending number. For this video, I'm using a 6 terabyte hard drive, so the ending number is 117210439667S. Now I'll put this in the description as well so that you can copy that down. And that's for a 6 terabyte hard drive. At this point, what I did was I shut down my computer and rebooted in Ubuntu in order to format the created partition to make it usable with the MyCloud. With that partition formatted, you're ready to take the hard drive out of your computer and hook it up in the MyCloud enclosure and power it up. Now, if you've never put a hard drive back into a MyCloud, it's not very difficult to do. I'll show you here the process of putting a hard drive back in. Now, I'm not going to close the case fully, but this will give you the process of what you need to do to get a hard drive reinstalled back into the case.
Once the hard drive is installed and the case is put back together, plug it in and you're ready to go.